So last time we were talking about which one of these doors would fit, would, would be the better um, choice to go in this side of the shipping container home. Um, yes, welcome back to another exciting episode of Joe Ketchapalia talking about shipping container home building. Uh, thinking about renaming it to how not to build a shipping container home. Um, had a couple issues. Uh, definitely going to tell you a little bit more about that uh, at a later time. But um, just want to give you an update. I had a whole bunch of people. Um, you know, we had some comments with votes, uh, but we also had a whole bunch of people that uh, just messaged me or just called me and let me know what they like. Uh, you know, I really appreciate it. I like the feedback. I think, you know, the more people I can get involved, um, you know, the better the better outcome I'm going to have. But so, uh, you know, just to remind you, we were talking about, you know, should we use one of these glass garage doors um, to get into the main living area from the outside or go just with, you know, more traditional slightly more traditional garage door, but with some windows. Um, the difference in pricing, you know, my builder wanted to go uh, just for the cost uh, and the ease of installation, wanted to go with a slider. Um, I thought this was gonna look kind of silly because we already installed the front door right next to it. Um, although I like the idea of, you know, trying to, trying to keep that budget small. Um, so, just recap our decisions the expensive glass garage door the less expensive garage door although still you know two thousand uh, dollars and the very affordable slider which was just 300 bucks um to make matters worse my pricing was kind of off um the providers that could get me the prices that i mentioned for the two garage doors both have unbelievably long lead times right now um, obviously they're popular because they're low cost uh, and so we will hopefully be done for a month before I could get either of these options um, I, I realized that there's more that I don't know about garage doors than I could have ever imagined um, you know different levels of um, oh, insulation so you know there there's R values that are basically you know might as well just have a, a single pane of glass with some of them all the way up to an R18. And if you don't know too much about R values, um, first of all, you're a good company because I, you know, neither do I. I just know the higher that number, the better. I think exterior walls, you want somewhere around a 10. Uh, I've seen eight and 13 and some different numbers like that. Um, but so, you know, you can get a nice insulated wall. You can, um, you know, the glass in there there's a whole bunch of different options so when i really started talking to vendors and pricing things out a little bit more um uh, you know the the all glass one was really going to end up being closer to four thousand um and if i wanted it done in a reasonable timeline it was going to be five or six uh the same thing with the other garage door you know it was going to be probably tack on another thousand to that uh if i wanted it done quickly um, so what did I choose? Uh, option one, two, or three? Went with option four. None of the above. Uh, I'm sorry. I know I know some of you might have been invested in this decision. Um, but at least for right now, uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put a window in here. We actually, the price was right on this one. This is one uh, my builder at, had accidentally bought an extra window when he went and bought windows because uh, one of the places in the plans there's actually just a cutout in the open porch, but it looks like a window hole on the plans. And so he he had bought a window to fit there. It's a nice big hole um, or a nice big window. You know, so it's, it's a six feet by six feet. Uh, so it's not quite as big as the garage door, um, but, you know, it's, it's taking up pretty close to the same spot. Um, like I said, I had already bought it and we actually, you know, maybe we could have returned it, but we actually got an incredible deal on it. Um, as, as far as windows go too. Uh, and so this is what we're going to go with for right now. Um, I know I really wanted to have sort of a, another little wow factor. Yeah. Okay. But, um, you know, there's, there, we're already doing a lot of things on this project that I think are going to be really neat. Um, if when, you know, this project is all done, if we look at it and decide, you know what, it really needs that extra little something, it's not going to be that big a deal to go back um, and buy one of those garage doors and put it in, you know, the cost of actually cutting this hole a little bigger and installing it isn't going to be the big expense. Um, we didn't really spend, you know, I mean, really just, I think 200 bucks on this window, 150 bucks, which is unbelievably cheap for a window that size. 
Um, I, I think I had uh, talked about that. You know, we got them from this basically surplus construction store. Um, and uh, yeah, so, you know, we're going to put it in. And if at the end of the day, it's it's not a great solution, uh, you know, sometime down the road after this is all done, I'll go in and put the garage door in or, or do something else. Uh, it's a lot easier to go bigger with this hole than smaller. Um, one of the things I'm going to try to do is actually move it over just a little bit so we can keep that MSC, you know, so we can actually see those numbers and leave that. Um, the, the kitchen counter comes out to somewhere around here. So I, I don't know that there's really going to be enough room to move that, um, but the, the builder's actually measuring that out to see to see where we could put it, where it would make sense. You know, if we have to cover that up a little bit, you know, I've talked about a few times, we might actually have to paint over this exterior, um, which I think is criminal. But if if the code guys tell us we have to, you know, to get our uh, final, you know, everything done, and that's what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Short update. Just wanted to let you know, this is, this is the solution we came up with for now. Um, definitely, if you haven't seen that first video or if you haven't voted, I, I would like to hear which option you think is best. Um, because at the, you know, like I said, we might go back and change it when it's all said and done. Uh, if this just doesn't, you know, if, if it's really just missing something on the front here, I, I know the architect really liked the look of that. And I, I did too. I thought it would be cool and, you know, really bring that outdoor space in. Um, but as you'll see, as we, as we move along, we have a couple other spots where we have some nice outdoor space and we have a, a couple of sliders. And, um, so, you know, I think. I, I think it's something that we can sacrifice for a little expedience um, and, and a big savings in my budget. And, you know, I can't complain about that. Um, but so until next time, I will keep making mistakes so you don't have to. Remember that? That was my catch line or phrase. So, oh, yeah. Like, subscribe, comment with your vote. If you didn't vote, I'd like you to vote now. Sorry. I thought we were done. I know you probably already clicked off. I noticed nobody actually watches these to the end, and I don't blame you because there's always about 30 seconds of me just, uh, so I'll try to stop that, but, you know, it keeps happening.